everybody, Culture Dog Sam Hatch, back here with another video, and this time I have a speaker before me, and not just any speaker, but it's a pair that I'd received from some friends. Uh, I'd helped them move uh, their parents into a new place, and one of the things they were looking to do was to downsize some of the furniture size speakers, and knowing how much I liked old things like my old Admiral console, they were very cool to gift me these advents and I may have talked about these before if you saw my room tours video you'll have heard me talk about how I had the advent speakers that nobody cared about and this is the advent loudspeaker that people did care about it's a series originally it was just called the large advent and there was the small advent and started back in the late 60s Henry Kloss of just about everything KLH fame and lately Tivoli fame but acoustic research he worked for I think Cambridge Soundworks. But anyways, he had designed the Large Advent, and this is the new Large Advent, these, this series. It's a bull nose, walnut finish. It does have some nooks and crannies and nicks that I'll uh, have to finish up a little bit. But um, still, yeah, really nice speaker set. I know there's some fans that like stacking them. If you get two pairs, you can stack them tweeter to tweeter, and it's supposed to be even better. But the new Large Advent, was redesigned in the 70s and according to the catalog that comes with it which I found a copy online I'm gonna have to do that uh, print that out that it was designed with these new tweeters that are actually flush mounted that's one of the things you can tell it's the fried egg tweeter um, it is designed to have a little bit more high end to it and this uh, 10 inch woofer has an actual uh, steel plated uh, mount, whereas before apparently it was on a masonite 12 inch mount that was kind of retrofitted to fit the 10 inch and uh, yeah of course they eventually need refoaming and all that but that's one way you can tell if it's got the steel uh, mount and the flush mount fried egg tweeter you know it's a new large advent it also has that three-way switch you saw on the back of the other speaker to change the crossover and yeah it's designed to be a little bit more um, a little bit more forgiving with the high material and it doesn't uh, cut out as quickly so apparently it was uh, to capitalize on recordings that were a little bit better in the 70s and, and had a better high end to them but uh, shout outs to Riddler 93 I know I talked to him about these uh, speakers before and yeah let's uh, check them out and uh, maybe take them for a spin I think uh, I'll crank up some stuff with the drama on them and uh, we'll see what they sound like really cool I'm a big fan of adding these to the room. They don't quite match the the gray of my giant Sony RPTV, but uh, they definitely look nice next to near the uh, Admiral console. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, maybe I'll, I'll try the stacking method at one point, get another pair and stack them up upon each other. But let's crank them up, see what they sound like. 